Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio here with another um, collaboration with hashtag AJOS, stands for Art Joy Sharing Facebook group. This is the um, ATC a Day 2022. So one of the prompts, and I can't remember which day it was, uh, day number six was wood. The only kind of wood I had was popsicle sticks. So I got the regular size popsicle sticks, you know, you ate popsicles on when you were a kid, um, and lined them up on this board, trying to make sure that they fell within the two and a half inch width of an ATC. And so the width is two and a half inches by three and a half for the height. Um, and I can't remember, I think it was just almost right on at two and a half inches. So I take another stick to make sure the top and the bottom were pretty much even so I could see if it fit within the two and a half inches. That is kind of silly because now I'm going to take it all apart and I am going to glue it together. <laughs> okay, so I'm showing you the bottle of wood glue. We've gone through two or three of these this year. Um, one froze last year, so it had to go in the garbage and we had to buy two more when we used up on another project and this is the third bottle. Who knew that wood glue would be so popular? All right, so I applied it with toothpicks on the glass mat because it's not going to stick to it, at least not like it would another surface. So I did go ahead and glue it on the, you know, using the glass Tim Holtz, whatever this thing's called, tonic, I don't know, tonic whatever. <laughs> I don't really care what it's called. It's just glass. So there I am measuring to make sure I'm within the two and a half inch width. The height is an issue. It's already more than three and a half inches, which I will take care of later in this video. So I'm measuring one more time because I want to make sure it's right. And then I'm going to tape it with some painter's tape because I don't want it to slide around or for me to accidentally bump it and screw it up. So that's why I did that. So now I'm trying to figure out what's going to fit on there. Am I going to be able to fit what I want within the constraints of the popsicle sticks? I went about this in the most excruciatingly painful way possible, but nevertheless, I did try several methods to make sure what I was doing was going to work. So I wanted to make sure that the stencil that I wanted to use was going to fit onto the popsicle sticks. So I'm looking at it there and I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to put it right on the wood and put the wood burning tool through there. Nope, that's not going to work because I don't want to melt the stencil. So then I decide, well, let me just trace the sunflower onto the paper and then put the paper on the wood. Nope, that's not going to work because I'm going to catch the paper on fire, which is on top of the wood. So nope, that's not going to work. So let's put the stencil back on and we're going to actually trace with the pencil. Nope. We don't do it that way. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to color this with um, ink through the stencil, and then what I will do is outline the leaves. Not bad, but we need color for the center. The center is a little more tricky because it's a lot of little holes. The brown looks really nice on the stencil. <laughs> Not a lot of it comes through on the other side, but it's enough. So now I've got to cut off the ends of the popsicle sticks to make sure it's only three and a half inches tall. I'm marking it with the pencil. And then I'm going to take some scissors and I'm going to cut the wood with regular Tim Holtz scissors, which is good, except for I didn't get it exactly straight. Maybe a Dremel tool would have been better. I don't know. I probably would have caught the wood on fire with that. <laughs> Maybe the scissors, even though they're not straight, would be the safest method all the way around. <laughs> I did catch a paperback book on fire one trying, time trying to use a uh, 
a circular blade on the Dremel tool to cut the paperback book. That's before I had a commercial paper cutter. I don't know, 10, 12 years ago. It was rather funny afterwards, not while I'm standing there blowing the embers out, <laughs> which made it worse because fire needs air. It was a whole disaster and a glass of ice water. And that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> now I'm going to take this tool that's really meant to melt plastic. It does not get as hot as a regular wood burning tool. It didn't leave any kind of black to speak of behind. So I thought, okay, I, I want to age the wood. I didn't want the sunflower to be too bright. I wanted to give it a little bit of age. Should have done that first. Well, whatever. So that's uh, the Tim Holtz or Distress Inks. That's the walnut stain. So now I'm going to try and brighten up the what I got on there in the first place, I thought, oh, well, I'll use yellow paint to brighten it up. So I put the stencil back on again. <laughs> and I'm going to dab it a little bit with the yellow paint to kind of brighten it up a little bit. After I put the brown on, it kind of dulled the yellow. Well, duh. I told you guys, I do everything the hard way. It's always an afterthought. You know, every time I do it, I think I'm improving something. <laughs> all right yes it looks much better <clears throat> all right so I realized that that tool is not going to be what I need I brighten up the middle I decide green would be better not brown and I try with this tool again nope it's not going to work it doesn't work good enough I'm going to outline it with a pencil. Now is where I re outline it with a pencil to kind of make the lines easier for me to see while I'm using this tool. I don't like the tool. It's not working. So I thought, okay, so I'll try a marker. Markers really didn't work either. Try again. Nope. I'm not loving it. only made indentation so it only made indentations it didn't really burn the wood like I hoped it would so I had to get out the real tool um, this is a wood burning tool it has the same tip on it as the turquoise thingy um, but for some reason it seemed like it was hotter and it worked better now the problem with this is the maker <laughs> I've never used a wood burning tool in my life to burn stuff. I inherited that from my father's garage when I went through my parents' stuff. And I brought it home thinking I might learn to use it someday. Well, someday has come and didn't come very well. So I'm burning some places deeper and darker than others. I only have one tip on it. The other tools tips do not fit on there. So I am playing around with this, trying to salvage my project, and I'm doing the best I can for not knowing what I'm doing, which is seems to be a constant state of my crafts. Um, so I keep doing it and doing it and working on it and outlining where the pencil mark was because it really was hard to see where to do this. Um, the pencil marks did help but I, I really needed more light shed on the project. So I just keep going. One of these days I might really learn how to use the silly thing or might buy a newer version of it, which would have probably worked more efficiently than this did. I don't know, I, I just don't know. But I did make a try, yay. I've told you guys in past videos, I'm like a dog with a bone. I keep going until there's just no hope. And then I rethink it and think there is more hope. So I don't want to quit on a project. You know, I can count on one hand how many times I have thrown a project away because I was so disgusted. Uh, I just don't like throwing things away. I have a hope for that stuff. Maybe not other things but I had a hope for that and my knitting 
I don't throw knitting away either. I'll rip it out and start over, but I won't throw it away. All right, so I want to round the corner so it'll fit in the tin. So I'm trying with the corner rounder. It does not work through wood, just saying. So what it did was it kind of scored it so I could see where to cut it with the scissors. And then I cut it with the scissors. Not great job, but, you know. Then I go back over it with the walnut stain to cover up what I just uh, exposed, you know, the wood color instead of the the dark color. Now I want to put a word on here. So I had these words that are stickers that I bought at, uh, I think I got these at Hobby Lobby like, I don't know, five or six years ago. And I'm going to put the sticker on it and leave it. And that is my ATC for wood. I figured I better stop before it turns into another paper bowl incident. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I appreciate it.